Smart Photos is one of the greatest new features here inside Perfect Photo Suite 9, and it gives you the ability to re-edit your images after you've already gone through and edited them. I have an image inside Perfect Browse that I'd like to take into Perfect Enhance and Perfect Effects, and then I'll be able to jump back into either of those programs to readjust it. Let me show you how easy it is. I've got this photo, and in the top right-hand corner, I'm going to start out inside Perfect Enhance. So we'll go ahead and click on that once. When this dialog box opens up, you want to make sure that you have Smart Photo Re-Editability PSD checked. This will give you the ability to re-edit your image later. Go ahead and click OK, and then it'll transfer me over into Enhance. Now on the right hand side of my screen, in the Color and Tone Adjustments pane, let's go through and make some changes. I will brighten the photo up a little bit. We'll add a little bit of contrast. I definitely want to add some detail to make some of those water droplets nice and crisp. I will adjust the color a little bit. Let's cool it down quite a lot, and then I'll also add some vibrance in there. I can also go through and do a little bit of retouching here. We have the Perfect Eraser and the Retouch Brush inside Perfect Enhance. I'm going to go ahead and select that Retouch Brush real quick, make it a little bit smaller, and let's go through and just remove a couple of the water droplets that maybe I think are a little distracting on the background. We can just clean that up a bit so they aren't quite as noticeable there. And there we go. Now let's jump into Perfect Effects to apply some sort of styling to it. I'll go up to the top right hand corner of my screen, click on Effects. Now once I'm inside Perfect Effects, on the left hand side of my screen is something called the On One Favorite Looks. This is a great place to start in the program if you're not 100% sure what type of styling you do want to add. We've prepackaged some of these looks for you to get you started. One of my favorites is called Dark Bleach, and I really, really love the way it looks on this image. So we'll go ahead and click on that once. Did an awesome job with this photo, and now I'm done. I'm going to go over to the bottom right-hand corner and just click on Save and Close. It's going to go through, save all the changes that we made in both of these programs, bring me back into Browse, and then on the right-hand side of my screen, you'll see that the Smart Photo History dialog has popped up, and it shows that I've edited my image in Enhance and Effects. So let's say you jump back into Perfect Browse after you've shown your image to your client and they say that maybe the styling is a little too intense. That dark bleach is a really, really intense effect to apply to your image and it may not necessarily be everyone's cup of tea. So I just want to back off a little bit so it's not quite so dark. I'm going to select the image that we had edited earlier. On the right hand side of my screen in the Smart Photo History dialog, I'm just going to double click on Perfect Effects. It's going to go through apply the changes that we made inside Perfect Enhance, including all of that retouching where I removed some of those distracting droplets on the left-hand side. And then it'll also reapply the effect that we added to our image, but give us the ability to adjust it. So here on the right-hand side in my filter stack, these are all of the different filters that were applied with that on one favorite dark bleach look that we added. I'm gonna go up to the top Take the Master Opacity slider, which adjusts the intensity of that look, and just move it over to the left. Now, we're still getting a cool bleached look, but it's not quite as dark as it was before. Now, maybe the client will like this a little bit better, and I can just go down to the bottom right-hand corner and click on Save and Close again. Now, that exact same image has been saved right here in Perfect Browse. I didn't have to create multiple copies, and I can still select and re-edit it again if I'd like to.